What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here. Zatella suggests guys, we're going to be going over Jeremy's razors. I finally got my starter kit here. It was uh, quite some time, the meme kind of came out at the beginning of the year. Nonetheless, they shipped it, it arrived, and uh, now I've got my starter kit. So we're going to go over the unboxing, what you get when you sign up with Jeremy's razors. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a test. I'm going to show you here Dollar Shave Club as well as Harry's razors how well they perform against Jeremy's razors. Now, I've got brand new razor heads on both of these. These are older iterations, but the blades are kind of basically what you're purchasing. I won't go through the whole shave process, but we'll do one or two sides and show you here the difference between all three of them. With that said, guys, this is not a sponsored video. They didn't reach out to me. I did pay for the full package here. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and uh, show you what it's like. A lot of hype around Jeremy's razors uh, because, well, as you guys know, Daily Wire had a long time relationship with Harry's razors. For political reasons, Harry's razors decided to cut out of their contract. I don't really care otherwise, but because of the hype, I decided to uh, purchase it and I wanted to try it out here. With that said, I'm going to try to keep this as politically neutral. Hopefully from a consumer standpoint, show you what the difference is, if it's worth it to get the Jeremy's razors. All right, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is the founder's kit. I have myself now a new hygiene bag. I'm pretty excited about that. You can see that it's uh, made out of this, uh, this like neoprene material here that should be dust and water resistant. You can see that the zipper is, is seamed into itself to provide a, you know, additional protection. I don't know if it's waterproof. You got a little tiny compartment here for knickknacks here and there. You got a nice grip right here, and then you have uh, you know American symbol here on the uh, on the front. Open up the founders pack here. I don't even remember what I ordered. It was so long ago. Let's see what it comes with here. Inside the bag, we've got ourselves the creams, your little stickers, probably the razor, the razors itself, and an extra pouch of razors. Let's go ahead and uh, show you the different products here. We've got the shave cream, post shave cream. This is a green tea and menthol, so it's going to make your face feel airy. Uh, you got the instructions here on the back. You got your instructions again. <laughs> Shut up and shave. You got the different styles of Jeremy Boring's face. You got stickers. I hate Harry's.com. I don't really care much about the marketing. And then there's uh, a gift card here, which I'm going to hold on to as I continue to purchase. I took all the shrink wrap off. Let's go ahead and uh, open up the extra Jeremy's razor, see what it comes with. It's probably like a little plastic pouch with uh, four. A little bit smaller than what I'm used to. Um, nonetheless, it should be nice and compact. It looks like it's magnetically shut here. It kind of just flaps open and there you do. There you go, shut up and shave. It's That's kind of their trademark. It's housed in ni this nice felt foam, which, uh, you know, you can use, and I'll probably will, I'll probably keep this in here, but as, as water and time goes on, it looks like here that this, this may kind of deteriorate. But I do like the idea of placing this back where it needs to. However, it's probably just smart to keep the razor on. Uh, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. It's an all metallic build. I like how it has the JR there, and it's hefty. It's heavy, I like that. The mechanism to snap it on here is pretty straightforward. Uh, you kind of just place it under here, this little latch. It latches on and then you pull it off. What's nice is they also have uh, the barrier here so that, you know, when you're placing it in your little man bag, you still have the plastic case that you can hold on to. So you don't necessarily need to have this when you carry it with you. Just keep this at home. You can put this underneath your sink or whatnot. Okay, close up here, the big reveal. Kind of just poke it off here and uh, you've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, six blade, a six blade razor. Wow. That's impressive. You also have a white little pad here that uh, provides a little bit of moisture and also kind of directs the, the whiskers when you shave with it. It does have a rubber coating around the edges and then you've got kind of this, uh, this other kind of comey, I don't know even what you call it, I'm not an expert in razors, but um, that's supposed to kind of catch the whiskers. And around the back side here, you can see that it is open here so that you can run water through to get the whiskers out. The all metal base here, I really like. I think it's really hefty. You got a rubber grip on the back side, and I think that's nice. Let's provide a comparison here. The Harry's has its own little uh, carrying case. You can see all three of these have a very similar shape and style. They're all about the same length. 
Although I feel like Harry's is a little bit more plasticky in, in style here. You can see all three of them now here side by side. Dollar Shave Club I've been using the most here. I don't really like this design even though it's nice and grippy. The chrome is kind of uh, tacky and uh, once it gets wet you can see that it kind of has that haze. I like the matte look of the Jerry Jeremy's razors. On the Harry's side here, you can feel that it's plasticky, it's not very metal in, in nature, and it's all rubber around the edges. Harry's razor is a five blade, the Dollar Shave Club is a six blade, and then obviously Jeremy Razors is a six blade as well. Uh, I, I've always liked how big and robust this is, although I get a lot of hair that gets caught in there, which is annoying. Um, you know, I don't know much about razors and their development here to be able to provide any more insight besides that. But here's uh, the differences, as you can see. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, place everything in the box, in the little carrying pouch. I like how wide and big it is. And uh, we'll place, place uh, the Jeremy razor back in. And now we've got ourselves a nice travel kit. This is great. All right guys, we're on location here. We're gonna go ahead now and show you all of the different razors here in action. I'm gonna prep my face, prep the razors, and uh, we're gonna just shave a couple of times and then I'll finish up and we'll wrap up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the, the green tea and menthol shave cream. This is how it looks like when it comes out. Doesn't really smell like anything, although it does have the, uh, you know, the green tea smell. I can't smell the menthol. Maybe that's going to be like an afterthought. I'm just going to rub it directly on and just start rubbing. Oh, there we go. Now I can start to smell it. Now, my whiskers are, are longer than I'm comfortable. So this may take a, a bit to be able to lather it all the way in. And I feel like I'm using more than I typically would. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do three swipes on, on each cheek to show you guys the difference. We'll first start with Harry's razors. We're just gonna go straight down the face. See how well it does. Uh, as soon as I filled up the razor, I could feel that it just stopped. And so you can see up at the top here, it missed quite a bit. Once we got around the chin, it, uh, it did grab more, but my face is red. Um, not very good, I'm not really uh, pleased with that. Let's go ahead now and show you the Dollar Shave Club. We're just gonna do straight down. This is a much wider girth. As you can see, it grabbed tons more than the Harry, but it still missed some here around my mole and it didn't cause it to be any red. So let's go ahead now and show you the six razor from Jeremy's razors. Wow, I didn't grab any. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Uh, it might be because the razor is not as wide, but that's uh, yeah, that's a little disheartening. Let's go with the, the Jeremy razor first. There we go. Okay, that was better. Once it filled up, though, it kind of gave up. So you've got about an inch of, uh, of real estate here to be able to pull from it. Har Harry's razors again. Yeah, it gives up about the same as well. We'll finish off with the Dollar Shave Club. Wow, that is just impressive. Oh, I think I cut my mole, dang it. Another thing that I'm noticing here is that uh, Dollar Shave Club has an extra razor here on the top to be able to pluck up uh, your little whiskers here by your sideburns or anything else up by your eye, but Jeremy does not have that. So does Harry's razors. Harry's razors has that seventh razor here uh, up on the top to be able to pluck any of these extra hairs here in a pinch. Going against the grain here feels fine. I don't feel like there's any razor burn. I do like the shave butter. Although at this point, I feel like, at this point, it seems like it's all gone. But there is still an oily enough, there's a buttery or an oily enough substance on the skin that uh, I don't feel like I'm gonna get razor burn after this. The post shave cream has almost a, uh, a non odorous aroma. This is supposed to be a green tea and menthol as well. 
coming out of the uh, the box here it's much more clear and it looks like it's a little more runny take the glasses off and we'll rub it all over the face oh yeah that smells really good I like that I might have put too much so maybe like a, a dime size I was uh, a little a little more modest than I should have just because the shave cream didn't really go as, as long as uh, as here the post shave cream it smells really really good it gives me nice moisture the menthol gives me a really nice refreshing feel I like that the best part here is on the little areas where I nicked I nicked here and I nicked there um, I don't feel a burn a lot of post shave cream burn all right, my Pungyu, here's the verdict. Uh, here's my final impressions. I think the Jeremy Razor is, is a good product. Uh, for 80 bucks for this whole pack, I don't know if I feel comfortable with all of that. With that said, since it's you know the Founders Pack, this is the first iteration, I think they've got some room for improvement. Uh, I think the Dollar Shave Club Executive Razor is probably the best, it's wider. Uh, and for some reason, you know, for those longer whiskers, it was able to pull down and get the whole chunk. Whereas the Jeremy Razor took two or three. Harry's Razor is just garbage. Uh, I think we can all agree that. Um, it's, it's a subpar product and I think they overcharge you for everything. But with that said, uh, I still think that there is some ways to go. The, the shave cream didn't necessarily provide me enough clearance all around the face. That's because the whiskers were a little bit too long. This is a waterless shave, so you don't need to necessarily wipe your face down with water first. Uh, a little bit should go a long way, but it didn't for me. Uh, and I probably attribute that to the longer whiskers. If you have a day or two uh, of shadow on your face, then probably a little bit will go a long way. Uh, but that, honestly, um, it didn't feel as menthol -y as I was hoping. It's very much an odorless aroma. You can kind of sense the, the tea green, as I mentioned. However, you could definitely smell it on the post-shave balm. I like this. I like the post-shave balm. A lot goes a long way. I was able to cover my face and then some with probably a dime size. So definitely keep that in mind that a little bit goes a long way. With that said, I would like to have, honestly, that extra razor on the top to be able to clear off some of the extra whiskers around the ears or around uh, my sideburns. I like to also use that to, to trim down the sideburns, but it's not, it's not there. Uh, so adding that would be something I'd like. With that said, guys, uh, I'm excited to be able to try out this new product. The after aroma is really nice, and I think it's a, a very manly, a manly masculine smell. Let's uh, let's hate on Harry's. I don't like Harry's. It's not good. Dollar Shave Club is definitely probably the winner of the razors here, but we're talking about years uh, being in the market, whereas this is the first iteration. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. My name is Andy with Andy Vlogs. We'll catch you on the next one.